Hey friends, let's talk about honeybees today. Honeybees are very social and cooperative creatures. There can be over 75,000 bees in one colony. And these colonies have three different members of society. There are drones, worker bees, and of course, the queen. Drones are the males, and there are not as many of them. Their only job is to mate with the queen so that she can lay eggs to make new bees. They die shortly after mating with the queen. They have no stingers, and so they cannot hurt you. They have half as many chromosomes as the female worker bees and the queen. It only takes them 24 days to grow from an egg to an adult male drone. Then there is the queen. Her only job is to lay eggs, and she can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day. She does have the ability to emit pheromones that guide the hive's behavior. This is called the queen scent. Larvae who are chosen to be the queen are fed only royal jelly. This helps them grow up faster and to twice the size of the worker bees. It takes 16 days for the queen to grow up from egg to adult, and then she can live up to five years. There can only be one queen in a colony, so when new queens emerge, they will fight to the death. The winner will mate with the drones. The worker bees are all female, and they do most of the work in the hive. That includes building the hive, maintaining the hive, protecting the hive, raising the young, and feeding the drones, as well as the queen. At 10 days old, they develop the gland required for secreting wax and making honey. It takes 21 days to grow from egg to adult, and they usually only live five to seven weeks. When I say that the worker bees do most of the work, that includes making decisions for the hive. That's right, the queen isn't the boss. The worker bees work together to make the decisions together for the hive. Honey bees like to eat honey, of course, and pollen and other juices that they find from plants and fruits. They will harvest from milkweeds, dandelions, um, clover, goldenrod, and flowering trees. Honeybees need vitamins B and C, just like us humans. Honeybees like to make their hives or nests in safe places inside of trees or crevices, usually 15 feet off the ground and 10 gallons in volume. They will make this from wax that they secrete from glands in their abdomen. Beeswax is formed in hexagonal cells. The hexagon shape is best for maximum storage and minimum supply usage. The beeswax of the hive is used to store food as well as to house eggs and larvae. Let's say I'm a bee and I have a special gland inside my abdomen or my belly that makes wax. When it secretes the wax, it ends up in flakes on my belly, on my abdomen. So imagine these sticks of gum are flakes of wax. When I wanna make a hive, or one of those hexagonal chambers in the hive, I take a flake of wax from my abdomen and I chew it until it's soft. When it's soft enough, I can use it and mold it into making one of those hexagonal cells in my hive. That looks soft enough to mold. So of course, the best thing that honeybees are known for is making honey. How do they do this? They take nectar from flowers and it mixes inside a special pouch, a honey pouch inside of their body where it mixes with specific enzymes and then it is passed from tongue to tongue of worker bee as it dehydrates to become honey. Honey bees do not hibernate. They just hang out in their hive all winter, huddled together to keep each other warm and eating the food that they saved up through the year. The 
optimum temperature of their hive that they like to keep it at is 90 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature is also important for controlling the consistency of the wax. And in the summer, they will use liquid from stored nectar as an evaporative coolant for the hive so they don't overheat. Did you know that honeybees can recognize human faces? It's true. My other favorite fact about honeybees is that they dance to communicate. They dance in circles or they do a waggle dance, depending on what they are trying to communicate to their fellow worker bees. Thank you so much for watching How to Be a Megan. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.